This is no one from nowhere, and you are, and I am, a spirit of God. Today I want to talk to you about I Am God, Anunnaki Enlil's home in Nibiru, Nibiru, Nippur. First a couple jokes. How does an Anunnaki vampire start a letter? Tomb, it may concern. <laughs> And if this video was a song, it would definitely be called, Will the real Yahweh please stand up? Please stand up. <laughs> One biblical proof of the true God, Enlil, from Nibiru, found in Daniel 4, 5 through 6. Finally, there came before me Daniel, whose name is Belteshazzar after the name of my God, Enlil, and in whom is the spirit of the holy God. I repeated the dream to him. Belteshazzar, chief of the magicians, I know that the spirit of the holy God, Enlil, is in you, and no mystery is too difficult for you. Tell me the meaning of the visions that I saw in my dream. Do you ever wonder who God is? Do you ever wonder where God lived on earth? What about in the heavens? Is where God Enlil lived on earth called Nibiru? Is Nibiru a planet or a city? According to Daniel 4.5, yes, the one true God is from the Sumerian city name Nibiru, or Nippur. And he was praying and had visions from the true god Enlil, but was appealing to the Lord Bel Marduk. Pictured here is the ruins of Nippur, or Nibiru, or the Sumerian Nibiru, and Akkadian Nibur. This is called Enlil City. It was the special seat of worship of the original Sumerian god Enlil, or Lord of the Wind. En means Lord, and Lil means air, sky, and sometimes spirit. He is the ruler of the cosmos and answers to An or Anu only. Nippur was also the command center of the other gods, or the original Garden of the Gods. What was the true God's secret name? Nuna Manir. Did you know that God had a wife? Yes, and her name is Ninlil. Enlil and Ninlil had a son named Nanasin, the moon god. Enlil also had a son with Ninersag, the Lady of Life, and his name is Ninurta. One more biblical proof of Enlil, Nuna Manir, Lord of the Breath of Life, found in Job 33.4. The Spirit of God, Enlil, has made me, and the breath of the Almighty gives me life. Enlil was the Sumerian god of the wind and the air, Anu and Enlil were both supreme gods and the kings of heaven and earth. It is Enlil who presides over the council of the Anunnaki with absolute authority. In the original religion on earth with the real gods that actually walked and talked and lived here, the trinity in Sumerian was Anu, Enlil, and Enki. Enlil is the most important god in the Mesopotamian pantheon. He is the god of the wind, father of the gods, king of heaven and earth, and king of all the lands, and he is often called king of earth. He is the supreme god who decided upon the destiny of the world. He, Enlil, is the god of order 
in the universe and master of humanity's destiny. One biblical proof of Enlil found in Genesis 2.7. Then the Lord God Enlil formed the man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the wind of life, and the man became a living creature. Enlil is the creator of mankind, the Ajiji, and the great deluge or flood. He is also the guardian of the tablets of destiny. He built and established the first extraterrestrial mission control center on earth called Nibiru. Here in Babylonian astronomy, it translates to crossing or point of transition, especially in rivers like Styx or the River Jordan but also has the true nature in astronomy. Nibiru, or Nibiru, in the Unama Elish, it is Nibiru who is the so-called planet of Marduk. However, Nibiru was also a name for the planet Jupiter, or the planet of Enla. In the Mul Apin, Nibiru is identified as Jupiter. It states, When the stars of Enlil have been finished, one big star, although its light is dim, divides the sky in half and stands there. That is the star of Marduk, Nibiru as Jupiter. It keeps changing its position and crosses the sky. Nibiru was also the home of Enlil's mountain house, Ziggurat, called the Akur, where it is said that he could talk to Anu in the heavens through his mooring rope of heaven and earth. Some sort of communication device that is called the dur an Ki, or bond between heaven and earth. Nibiru was also the navel of the earth, or Axis Mundi. This occur was set up for Enlil to read the hearts and minds of all of us and all creatures on earth. Enlil is known to be the commander of the air, the I am that I am. Today I leave you with Ephesians 2.2, where in times past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of of the power of the air. Emphasis included on Enlil's power of the air. Only because you are and I am a spirit of God. Peace and love.